Good morning all. I'm going to do a new video series on designing a house in AutoCAD. This one's going to be more detailed. Um, not just kind of a fly through I guess, but this one's going to be de so detailed that uh, you're basically going to draw the same thing I'm drawing. Uh, that's what this one is intended to do. My other one is not really intended to do that. It's mainly just to show you how to design your own house. Um, <clears throat> but you know the learning curve for AutoCAD's AutoCAD is pretty steep, so um, for those who might be struggling a bit or for younger students, I am going to make uh, this particular series that is going to take you through step, I mean, very thoroughly step by step. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you want to do when you're drawing your floor plan, and this of course is for those of you who are drawing in Imperial. Uh, using imperial measurement, which um, if you're one of my students at school, then you are drawing in imperial measurements. Okay, but there is uh, one thing we have to change, and it's up here in the big A button. Um, and we are going to go to drawing utilities, and then go to units. Click on units. You should get this dialog box. Then I'm going to click on right here under the length section. It says type, and I'm going to select architectural. Everything else is set properly. Then click OK. All right, second thing you want to do is go ahead and save and name your file. So that for one, you have a name for it, and you always know where it is um, and what it's called. Okay, so this file will be named. FP for floor plan underscore. Um, let's see what's next. Your name. So my name is right there. Uh, don't put my name, put your name. And the uh, class number, if you're in second period or fifth period. And then the year. Okay. So that's how your file should be named. Now I already have a file that is named like this, so I am going to put another underscore and a two after that. You don't have to do that, but all of this will help me identify whose file I'm looking at. That it's the floor plan assignment, that it's uh, who you are, what class period you're in, and the year. So you save that, and you have to remember to save at least you know like every five to ten minutes just mouse up here and click on the save button right up here okay and that will save what you're working on um, and if you don't save it and you close the program down and, and nothing is saved well then you got to start back over from scratch uh, let's you know we don't want to do that so let's always hit the save button and I'll also go ahead and reiterate the uh, idea of backing up your work um, <clears throat> Back up your work to. Teachers, pardon the interruption. Hold on. Bus five eight eight just arrived. Arrived, please allow the students to come in. Thank you. But back up your work to a thumb drive or to a cloud drive like OneDrive that we use here at this school. Um, <clears throat> so back up your drawing because uh, if the computer crashes that your drawing is on, then um, you'll have to start over. Now, I'm going to go up here to the top of the screen and click on Layer Properties. And I will get, everything's popping up on my other screen here, there we go. And I'll get this box right here. This layer that's already in there is a default layer. Uh, you can't change that one, okay? We don't want to change that one. We want to keep that one for, you know, special, uh, you know, drawings, text, or whatever it is that we're, we're doing in our drawing. But we do want to create some layers to put things like our... Uh, or different types of walls, uh, whatever else, furniture, electrical, things like that. So I'm going to start with five layers. So I click this button right here, this little button with the spark out next to a stack of papers, it looks like. And I get five layers. I name the layers. Okay, the first one is going to be E X T W A L L. Second layer, and that's for exterior walls. I N T W A L L. And uh, it's good to be consistent with your punctuation and your everything else. 
Um, the next one is going to be doors. Next one is going to be windows. And the next one is going to be, um, what is it, casework. Okay, and this that's how I start. Okay, and that's how I want you to start following this, this assignment. Okay, <clears throat> oops, I didn't save that. Okay, all right. Now the colors, the first layer, that's that default layer. I'm going to leave it white. The exterior wall layer, I'm going to make it red. Um, and I click OK. The interior wall layer, I'm going to make that green. Now I'm using high visibility colors uh, so I can see them really well on the screen. Uh, doors, I want to make those yellow. And windows, I'm going to make those this light blue. And then casework, oops, I gotta push OK. Casework, I am gonna make this magenta color. Okay, so now I've got all those basic layers. Now, as you go, you'll add more layers for, for different things. Uh, this, these are just the basic ones to get you started. Uh, but later on, you'll add electrical plumbing, heating and air conditioning, all that kind of stuff, all those different layers. Um, and two, that really just depends on your overall methodology of how you go about drafting uh, your plans. There's other ways of doing it, but you know, just so that you know. So I'm going to close this layer box because I'm done with that. All right, and the house we're going to design is just a. It's going to be a very basic rectangular house. Mainly, the the uh, goal here is to show you how to use the software. Okay, and how to design a, so, uh, a home or a blueprint or whatever you want to call it, uh, technical drawings in AutoCAD. So I'm going to start with a line. Okay, and I want to get, you know, the general size of, of an average house in here. And if you don't know what that is, uh, go measure some. Look some up on the internet. Uh, there's lots of house plans or floor plans you can look at uh, with measurements and you can see you know exactly how wide and how deep and everything else that they are um, when you're first starting out you've never designed a house you really don't know where to go or where to start with I understand that um, but your best resource for one is the house that you live in or your neighbor's house or your friend's house uh, relatives house um, or the internet okay the house. This is going to be the front of my house. Okay, so typically a house, you know, around 40, 50 feet wide. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to click to start my line. Then I'm going to start dry, dragging it out to in the direction I want to go. And then all I have to do is type in the distance. So let's say I'm going to go 40 feet. So I type 40 and then the single apostrophe to indicate feet. And then there we go. And I'm going to hit escape. And I'll slide this over just a little bit to get it out of the way of that thingy down there. All right, so there's the front of my house. Now, of course, I want to do the depth of my house. Um, 40 feet wide. Now we're going to go probably, you can go 40 feet deep if you want to. Uh, but let's say, you know, we want to make something rectangular here. So I'm going to type in 30 and then the single apostrophe to get 30 feet. All right. Now, of course, all I have to do is snap, uh, you know, do the snap tracking and put the, the rest of these lines in there. So make sure that when you're drawing this, that, here, let me turn my line weights on, you can see that better now, um, that your snap tracking tools, these two mainly, right here, are on, okay? And that's a little uh, show snapping reference lines and snap cursor. Now we have a general footprint. I am going to uh, stop the video here and we'll continue on the next video. And I'll show you what to do as far as getting your wall thicknesses. Okay, so stay tuned.